Not everyone, however, relies on a horse for high jumps. At the Soviet Acrobatic Championships, spring-heeled athletes from all over Russia bounded about with terrific gusto in their bids to win the championship cup and title. After 35 years of international competitions, trampoline and tumbling became an international federation of gymnastics recognized sport. And in 2000, individual trampoline debuted at the Sydney Olympics. Despite individual trampolines inclusion, the other three disciplines of trampoline and tumbling, synchronized trampoline, double mini trampoline, and power tumbling, have never been a part of the Olympics. In light of FIG vying to get parkour into the 2024 games in Paris, I believe it is high time that all of trampoline and tumbling, not just individual trampoline, was included in the Summer Olympics. Reason number one, trampoline is already in the Olympics. First off, the current situation makes absolutely no sense. As I mentioned earlier, there are four events in trampoline and tumbling, but only one of them is considered an Olympic sport. It would be like if balance beam or pummel horse were in the Olympics, but all the other events in women's and men's artistic gymnastics were not. Who would want to watch that? Not only does this take away opportunities from trampolinists who aren't trampoline specialists, many specialize in tumbling or double mini, but it also removes the possibility of team events in TNT at the Olympics. Which brings me to... Reason number two. There's the team all around final now. Since 1982, the Trampoline and Tumbling World Championships have included team finals for individual trampoline, double mini, and tumbling. However, during the 2018 World Championships in St. Petersburg, FIG changed the competition format to include a team all-around final, similar to men's and women's artistic gymnastics. This change has made the sport a lot more enjoyable for casual fans or newbies to TNT, who can at the very least root for their home country. This enthusiasm is harder to generate for individual athletes for someone who isn't familiar with the sport. Reason 3. TNT is incredibly widespread. The event has returned to St. Petersburg, where more than 250 gymnasts from 34 nations have already begun the fight for nine sets of medals. As of 2018, there is a good mixture of trampolinists and tumblers from North America, Europe, Asia, and Oceania, with smaller and growing programs in Africa and South America, primarily South Africa and Argentina, making it much more global than another FIG-recognized Olympic sport, rhythmic gymnastics. Not to dunk on rhythmic, but it is completely dominated by Europe and Asia. Only six countries from two continents have ever won gold medals at the Olympics, four of which are or are part of the USSR or CIS. TNT, in contrast, in a shorter time span with fewer events, has had gold medalists from six countries from three continents and a silver medalist from a fourth continent. In the TNT events not currently in the Olympics, countries such as South Africa and Argentina are also medal contenders, which means TNT top athletes come from all six inhabited continents. Reason number four. TNT is similar to other sports with Olympic recognition. After all that, you somehow may still be thinking to yourself, that's nice, but bouncing around on a trampoline for 20 seconds isn't a sport. First off, trampoline and tumbling uses very similar skills and technique to artistic gymnastics, so if you think the latter is a real sport, then the former is too. Moreover, there is one non-gymnastic sport that is incredibly similar to TNT in the Olympics, diving. Springboard and platform diving have much in common with trampoline and tumbling, such as technique and training equipment. Elite divers do a lot of dryland work on trampolines and tumbling tracks or floors, as well as a synchronized event. Also, as previously mentioned, the replacement of team event finals with a team all-around final has made trampoline and tumbling a lot like men's and women's gymnastics or even rhythmic gymnastics. One difference, however, is that the TNT team final is mixed gender and consists of one gymnast from every discipline, with two for synchro, obviously. The current state of trampoline in the Olympics is unacceptable. Adding synchro, double mini, tumbling, and possibly an all-around team final would give TNT athletes from a variety of countries the opportunity to compete for a wider audience and would give that audience a more entertaining spectacle than the present setup. 